Massachusetts Horticultural Society was founded in 1829 to improve horticulture and people's understanding and appreciation of plants and gardens. We are an environmental educational institution that tries to connect people with the natural world. The gardens at Elm Bank are Massachusetts Horticultural Society's property. We maintain 36 acres in the Elm Bank Reservation, which is 182 acres in total. And our gardens are a place for people to come and enjoy display gardens, learn about different uh, plantings that are growing here, and test it at Mass Hort. We have 16 acres of gardens at the Gardens at Elm Bank. We have 12 gardens. One of the first gardens is the Welcome Garden that's out by the parking lot and the gate. When you come in the gate, the first garden you'll see is the Trial Garden. And the Trial Garden is one of 38 in, um, in the United States and uh, three in New England that tries all American selections. And what that means is that growers are sending plants to Massachusetts Horticultural Society to try before they hit the retail stores. A lot of people enjoy that garden because you get a sneak preview of what's coming out in the marketplace in the next year or two. The next garden is Wheezy's Children's Garden, which is a lot of fun. Wheezy's is a magical place with a sandbox, with a nice fish pond. with places for kids to play hide and go seek with a butterfly garden. And it's a wonderful place for people to enjoy with their young children. I'm walking towards the manor house. The next garden which we're situated in right now is called the Bressingham Garden. And this is an over a one acre garden designed by English nurseryman Adrian Bloom. He has a similar garden in Dis, Norfolk, England, a 17-acre garden with exactly what you see here. And again, this is a Four Seasons garden, so we're showing different trees, different shrubs, and perennial plantings. When you head back towards the manor house and you go around the side of it, you're gonna walk into our Italianate garden. And our Italianate garden is a Olmsted Brothers historic landscape. And last January, this garden was featured on this old house. An Italianate garden is really designed to be an, an additional room off the manor house. Its central focal point is a, a 14th century baptismal font, which is the fountain. And this is a garden that's really loved by, we, by our weddings for their ceremonies. It's just a very special, beautiful place. The Massachusetts Horticultural Society and the gardens at Elm Bank really offer a beautiful open space resource for the local communities. People can come with a picnic and enjoy it. We have a $6 entry fee, and if you're a member, of course, it's free, and all of the money goes to the care of this beautiful property. Well, I think right now in the summer, the gardens are just bursting with color, and this is a wonderful time to visit. The colors right now during July and August and September are just wonderful, and every garden has different plantings and different flowers to offer for people to enjoy. And I think people can come here with their landscapers or if they do their landscaping themselves and find a garden bed that might work in their yard or parts of it. So again, we're about inspiration and learning and finding out what you might want to do in your own personal garden.